Welcome to our Docker Troubleshooting Guide. Today, we're addressing a common issue that many newcomers encounter. Our viewer is following the official Docker tutorial, but has run into a snag. They're unable to connect to localhost on port 4000, receiving a connection refused error. Let's dive into the details of their setup and see how we can help them resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. Let's start by reviewing the issue you're facing with Docker. You mentioned that after running your application, you couldn't connect to localhost on port 4000. First, ensure that your Docker container is running correctly. You can check this by using the command docker ps-a to see the status of your containers. Next, verify that you have correctly mapped the ports in your docker run command. You should be using nash p4080 to map port 4000 on your host to port 80 in the container. If you're still having trouble, consider checking if your application is listening on the correct port inside the container. You can do this by executing a shell inside the container and using tools like curl. Lastly, if you're using Docker machine, remember to use the correct IP address. Instead of docker-machine IP default, use docker-machine IP default to get the correct IP. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing a connection issue with Docker, it might be because your Docker configuration is set to port 989 while your server is running on a different port. To resolve this, check the port number in your ZAMP-P control panel. To find the correct port in ZAMP P, open the control panel and look for the port number, which is highlighted in red in the example image. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're getting a connection refused error on port 4000, it means your Docker instance isn't running on your local machine. Instead, it's on a Docker machine. To resolve this, use the command docker machine ssh to log into your Docker machine. Once logged in, you can test the connection by running curl localhost 6666. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.